Hello and welcome to Nation Innovation. Today we are going to discuss basics of electronics as well as spindronics. So let's start with. So we are going to deal with electronics. That is the conventional electronics and a novel field which is known as spindronics. What are the basic differences? We are going to study the basic principle of operation between them. Then the basic materials which are used in both these domains and the basic devices. So these are the topics which we will be covering today. So let's start with it. So, for the basic principle, what we use in the conventional electronics is the charge. As you all must know, we use the charge. Charge is the number, what is the charge of an electron because the electrons they are associated with charge that is plus minus e, or we call it with the q sometimes. Similarly in spintronics what we deal with is that is the fourth quantum number of the electron that is the spin. As you must all have as you all must be familiar with that uh, there is a fourth quantum number that is the spin that can be associated with either plus minus half or it is called as spin up or spin down so that is the property used in the domain of spin products then coming to materials what we have is in conventional electronics we have n type and p type that you all must be known n type are that are free electrons and p type are the vacancies of electrons or the holes similarly in spintronics what we have is basically ferromagnetic non-magnetic anti-ferromagnetic so for ferromagnetic what we have is like whose magnetization state can be changed and similarly for non-magnetic like we cannot change or it actually does not have any uh, magnetization states then coming to the devices as we all know there is a PN junction diode basically then we have a BJT then we have a CMOS and now in spintronics we have uh, spin transistor the spin transistor is basically the same sort of thing that is for switching or then we have a then we have a spin valve that can be turned on and off and here we have to check the current flow And here we will deal with the magnetization switching. So that was a basic introduction to this and we will be discussing it in more details in the upcoming videos.